There's a beautiful thing in the IT world called virtual machines. They allow you to install operating systems within operating systems. Whoa, I just got inceptioned. I've already shown you how to make a Hackintosh and a Linux box on a virtual machine, but this time I'm gonna show you how to take a physical hard drive that already exists and put that on a virtual machine. So let's get dangerous. Not really. Before we start virtualizing the crap out of ourselves though, let me just mention that the results that I got may not be the results that you get. It'll differ depending on what hardware and what software you're currently using. So if you have any problems, feel free to ask my good friend Google for help. The first thing that you want to do is prep your old computer for virtualization. So make sure that your version of Windows is fully updated and then back up and restore any large files that you may have on there. And be sure to back them up to a separate hard drive. We can restore them back later, but what we want to do right now is make the hard drive image as small as possible. And you do this by removing any unnecessary files. After you have your hard drive prepped and ready to go, connect it to your host PC. You can do this either by attaching it as a slave drive or by connecting it using an IDE or SATA to USB connector. These are like 10 to 20 bucks on Amazon. With your old hard drive connected to your host PC, download and install Microsoft's Drive to VHD software. This will convert our physical drive to a virtual drive. When you have it running, you should see both your old and new hard drives as options under Volumes. Check the Space Required column to make sure that your C drive has enough space to fit all the space required to clone your hard drive. Under VHD file name, choose a name and location for saving your virtual hard drive. Make sure only your old hard drive is checked and click create. It may take a long time depending on how large your hard drive is. And when it's through, just close out of it. So now we've taken our physical drive and converted it to a virtual drive. But how do we boot into it? Well, a virtual drive requires a virtual machine to run it. I'll be using VirtualBox as my virtual machine, but you can use VMware or Virtual PC instead if you want. In VirtualBox, click on New. Next, select XP Machine and give it a name. Choose the amount of memory you want to allocate to it, and then under Startup Disk, choose Use an Existing Hard Disk and browse to your virtual hard drive location that you selected. Then click Create. If everything goes perfect, you should just be able to start it up and use it. But unfortunately, this is rarely the case. So here's some common troubleshooting tips and steps to get your virtual hard drive up and running. With your hard drive selected, under Settings, select System. And if your processor in your old computer had multiple cores, you can check Enable IO API C. And then click on the Processor tab and increase the CPUs. Here you can also check Enable PAE and X to fix some problems. And you could also click on the Acceleration tab and try checking both of these options as well. All these options could help, but they also may not. If you can get the VHD to boot so that it shows a blue screen or an XP error, then believe it or not, that's a good thing. This means that we can actually repair it. But in order to repair it, you're going to need an XP install CD. If you don't have one of those, then maybe that's something my sketchy friend Google can help you out with too. Shame on you, Google. I love you. You can pop your CD into your host PC's drive and it should read it in the virtual machine as well. Boot to it and once you get to this screen, type R for repair. This launches the recovery console. Select one for your C drive and then just press enter for the admin password. Now at the command line, the most common fix commands are fix boot, which writes a new startup sector, fix MBR, which repairs the master boot record, and the all time favorite, chkdsk, which checks the hard disk for errors and then repairs them. After running those, type exit to restart and see if that fixes the problem. If that still doesn't work, then you could do a full on Windows repair. 
To do that, boot to your install CD again, then when you get to this page, press enter and then F8 to continue. It'll then scan for previous installs of Windows. When it finds yours, just type R to repair it and it will do a repair install to fix any broken Windows files. This should get you up and running and boot it into your virtual hard drive. Like I said, your results will vary, so just use the solution that works best for you. And if you have any recommendations of better software to use, let us know about that in the comments below. Alright, for more tutorials, be sure to check out my YouTube channel or website. And that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.